And that's why I want to bring Dr. Wallach in today and wanted to talk today about uh, the longest living uh, folks on the planet and what it is that's different about what they do and what it is that we do and then what we can do to make the adjustment, to make that leap and become one of the longest living uh, cu cultures as well. Welcome to the Health and Wellness Hour with Dr. Joel Wallach and pharmacist Keith Abel. They believe when it comes to nutrition and supplementation, the modern medical system has failed you. That our body is divinely designed to repair itself given the correct foundation of nutrients. With a combined 85 years experience in health, nutrition, and supplementation, they bring a unique perspective on how to manage disease and improve one's health. You can take control of your own health and your future. Let's get on with the show. All right, good morning, everybody. This is Pharmacist Keith. Welcome to the Campaign for Nutrition, Health and Wellness Hour. Uh, we've got uh, with us, as always, Dr. Joe Wallach. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Keith Abel. I am a pharmacist. I've been a pharmacist practicing in many different settings uh, since 1995. Uh, primarily, I've spent my career in the field of uh, community pharmacy where I've worked one-on-one -on -one with patients uh, that come into my store. I've worked in various locations from very rural parts of Kentucky all the way to the inner city. I've also done some work in uh, uh, home infusion pharmacy and hospital pharmacy. And I'm currently uh, practicing in the field of long-term care. But one of the things I've always noticed, you know, from my very first patients that came into the community pharmacy you know, they come in there with their first prescription for blood pressure medicine or diabetes medicine or, or some type of pain medication for an injury or maybe uh, for arthritis. Uh, these folks, you know, they come to me, they bring these prescriptions and they really don't know uh, what they can do to eliminate the problem themselves. Uh, they don't realize that uh, blood pressure is just a temporary issue. You know, their doctors told them they're going to be on these blood pressure medications the rest of their life. Uh, they come in with uh, cholesterol medications and they're told that they're going to need to be on these the rest of their life. Uh, the, and the doctors are doing a disservice because they're not teaching these folks that there is another way. Uh, the doctors assume that uh, we all follow all the commercials on TV and we believe that uh, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. <laughs> oh, what a relief it is. You know, that's, that's the standard of care. Uh, take this pill for this problem. Take this capsule for this problem. Uh, if you've got these skin problems and you need to get this uh, monthly injectable, uh, you know, they just don't realize that all these medications that they're taking are because there's a sign of a problem and the doctors don't get to the root of the problem. You know, blood pressure is not the, the actual uh cause of the disease. Blood pressure is a sign of something else that's going on in the body. But instead, we give a prescription drug to poison an enzyme system in order to get a result that we want, lower blood pressure, lower blood sugar, lower cholesterol, uh, reduce pain, whatever. But we never get to the root of the cause, what's causing these symptoms in the first place, and how we can eliminate those problems, uh, you know, ourselves by taking some personal responsibility ourselves. Uh, that led me to, uh, to Dr. Joel Wallach. You know, many years ago when I was studying pharmacy and uh, my first few years in pharmacy, I spent a lot of time studying herbs and, and uh, nutrition, and different vitamins and minerals and what they can do to relieve disease and relieve the symptoms that the patient has and even reverse these diseases. Uh, fortunately, somewhere along the line, someone gave me a cassette tape called Dead Doctors Don't Lie. A lot of people out there have seen that cassette or seen the DVD or the CD version of it, but it's from this crazy doctor. I mean, he said some wild stuff on this cassette. Uh, you know, I'll treat you like a dog, but you're going to get better. Uh, he talked about long living civilizations and how the body has the potential to live a lot longer than what we're doing here in the United States. And it's all a result. It's all because of the nutrition and, and the vitamins and the minerals that these cultures get just by accident and that they live longer than the rest of us. And Dr. Wallach spent many years in research. Uh, he spent uh, uh, 13 years with a research grant from the National Institutes of Health where he did autopsies on various animals and humans in comparison to try to determine 
what these folks and what these animals were dying from. And at the end of that research, his, uh, his uh, thesis was published in a book that's now in the Smithsonian Institute. Uh, it's under the title of Disease Exotic Animals because at the time, Dr. Wallach was a veterinarian when he did this. But what he discovered is all these different diseases that were killing the different animals, uh, he was finding the same diseases in his humans that he did the autopsies on as well. And he realized that, you know, we're eliminating these diseases by making adjustments in the nutrition of the animals. Why can't we do the same thing for the humans? Uh, and that's what led him to eventually get his own degree in naturopathic medicine, opening up his own clinic uh, to uh, serve uh, people in uh, California, uh, northern Mexico. He had a successful practice there, but he wanted to reach more people. And that's where you and I come in. That's where that cassette tape came in. So today, fast forward to today, Dr. Wallach gets his information out there now to millions of people. I mean, that cassette tape has been in circulation now uh, since 1991 and has actually 1995. And there's over 600 million copies of that in circulation in nine different languages. Dr. Wallach's on, um, he has two nationally syndicated radio shows. He's on many, many other radio shows uh, to get the message out there of longevity. Uh, he has an army of folks like me and, and you that go out and share his information with people. And he does these Zoom meetings uh, almost on a daily basis now, uh, since he can't get out and travel because of restrictions. So he's still getting that message out there. And that's why I wanna bring Dr. Wallach in today. and wanted to talk today about uh, the longest living uh, folks on the planet and what it is that's different about what they do and what it is that we do. And then what we can do to make the adjustment, to make that leap and become one of the longest living uh, cu cultures as well. Uh, we can do it on a one-on-one -on -one basis. You and I can do it if we take personal responsibility. And we're gonna let Dr. Wally talk about that. So before I start, the food and dietary products that we uh, discuss in this program are intended to contribute to the daily diet and overall health. You know, they're not intended for use in the prevention, treatment, mitigation, or cure of any disease or health-related condition. Folks who have or suspect they have an illness or who wish to commence a diet or exercise program should consult an appropriately licensed healthcare practitioner for medical history evaluation, diagnosis, treatment, and health medications. And I don't want folks to get the wrong idea. I am a practicing pharmacist. I believe there is a role for the prescription drugs, but I believe that the role should be a temporary role. It should be a fix to a critical issue that's happening to prevent worse outcomes. And then you should take responsibility for yourself and transition away from those drugs. And that's the, that's the approach I take. I know there's a lot of folks out there that are completely against uh, allopathic medicine, but I, it has a place. Uh, naturopathic medicine has a place. We need to take a holistic look. And that's what Dr. Wallach and I do together. We take that holistic look uh, at the human body and the disease that we're facing. You know, what is it that we need to do immediately through pharmaceuticals? And what is it we need to do long-term in order to get off those pharmaceuticals and live a long, healthy life? If you stay on the pharmaceuticals, you're going to end up in one of my long-term care facilities. You're going to end up on 10, 15, 25 different prescription drugs. But if you take responsibility for the diseases you have, you take responsibility for your health, we can make a change. And that's what this program is all about. So Dr. Wallach, good morning. Good morning, Pharmacist Keith. <laughs> I appreciate all the kind words and, and the history of yourself and me. And so you, you get an A plus on that. Uh, appreciate that. And of course, um, uh, we have an enormous number of tools uh, between you and me. And so, you know, people should avail themselves of these things because they don't remember half of what we talk about. Uh, and so it's one of those things you have to have a reference book you can go to. And um, uh, I like to say to a family's health and longevity, they're as important to the family as the family Bible. Okay. And of course, uh, my contribution uh, is uh, dead doctors don't lie. As you pointed out, this, the uh, audio cassette tape came out in about 1995. The book came out in 1999, the book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. And literally we've sold millions of copies. These CDs in nine languages 
The book is in uh, English and Spanish. We sell cases of these every day, cases of the English and the Spanish version of Dead Doctors Don't Lie. And the purpose of that title was to point out that doctors don't know everything, okay? And when doctors don't know something, a lot of times they won't say, I don't know. I'll have to go find out to answer your question or find out what's going on here because I just don't know. And so many doctors don't feel comfortable with saying that. So they'll just say, oh, you have an autoimmune disease, your body's attacking itself. Well, this is a genetic thing. There's not much we can do about it except relieve the symptoms. Uh, that way they, they feel like they've done their job. And then um, just recently, almost today, um, through the, the eyes and mind and heart of Jimmy Osmond, the younger brother of, of Donnie Marie Osmond, um, we came up with the book, the CD and the DVD. It's a set, it's a three piece set, the book, the DVD and the CD, uh, the truth about nutrition. Uh, we don't sell, you can't break up a set and just buy the CDs or just buy the book. You got to buy the whole set. If you buy 10 of the sets at one time, you get a $10 this uh, discount on each set. So you'll save a hundred bucks if you buy 10 at one time instead of one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. And we look at over 600 different diseases um, that are really nutritional deficiency diseases. And it all started, and we've had this story many, many times. Um, it all started at three o'clock in the afternoon, Monday, September 4th, 1882 on Pearl Street in New York City in the bluff overlooking the construction of the Brooklyn Bridge when Thomas Edison and Jonathan Leaves pulled the switch in the first commercial electric generating plant in New York City. And by 19, um, uh, excuse me, by 1900, 18 years later, uh, just about everybody in America was obese. And so they started going to the doctor, boy, I'm 50 pounds overweight, I'm gonna lose my job, and what do I do? Um, my girlfriend's gonna dump me if I don't lose 25 pounds, and so on. And so what was happening, uh, people were developing a behavior called PICA, P-I-C-A, and PICA is a behavior that occurs when you're missing mineral nutrition and your body's craving those nutrients. Um, and people hear about this when they hear about horses chewing on the fence, it's called cribbing. It's um, named after the behavior of little kids when they chew on the top rail of their crib, they're cribbing. That's because they were minerally deficient and they're looking for something, their body's telling them to find something, so they're chewing on the rail other cribs, so it's called cribbing. So when they see a horse chewing on the top rail of the fence or the stall um, gate, uh, they would call it cribbing. And so that's where all that came from. And so being overweight is just a simple nutritional deficiency disease, not a calories, but a deficiency which develops the behavior of cribbing and you eat and you eat and you eat and you eat trying to find that nutrient. Okay, so we have all kinds of things to deal with that. And um, we can add 25 to 50 healthy years to people's life in a very, very I mean, we're talking reasonable cost, okay? Um, 20, 25 to 50 healthy years that you can spend with the people you love. Um, right now, the life expectancy of the United States is 75. We're, we're gonna go into that in a minute. You're gonna bring all that stuff up. Uh, but right now, our life expectancy is 75. It had been 79 for about, I don't know, 10, 12 years. And then it dropped four years at the beginning of this pandemic thing. and. Uh, it's, it's getting worse, not better. It's getting worse, not better. So we have some work to do, and this is what we're going to talk about today. But again, every family needs to get at least one set. And again, if you get 10 sets, um, you can give one to your pastor, your rabbi, um, your workmates. Uh, you can sell them. You buy them. You buy 10 of them. You get a $10 discount on each set, uh, and you can sell them for the regular price and make 10 bucks, uh, help you buy your supplements and all that kind of stuff. But the information is mind boggling. This is unimpeachable. This is not theory. This is unimpeachable drop dead um, information that can add 25 to 50 healthy years to your life if you do everything that is pointed out that we need to do. Um, and as you said, one of my, my, one of my famous sayings from the book, Dead Doctor and Lie is, uh, I'm gonna treat you like a dog, but you're gonna get better. Because in animals, we don't have health insurance like we do humans. And if a farmer had to pay a veterinarian to come out to the farm and treat all his animals with diabetes and high blood pressure and arthritis and asthma and irritable bowel syndrome and parasites, all this kind of stuff, they'd soon go out of business and, you know, a hamburger would cost you $75, okay, because there's no more beef out there. And so um, when doctors said, well, the reason why everybody's getting fat, they're eating too much 
animal fat, stop eating animal fat and eat more, um, uh, eat more um, grains, people switched over to wheat, butter, rye, and oats. Uh, there was no more wood ashes from the stoves or the fireplaces where the, our minerals came from. It was a bad combination. And that's why we got in so much trouble. We're still in trouble getting worse because doctors continue to give misinformation. And so again, the book, Dead Doctors Don't Lie, and the CD, Dead Doctors Don't Lie. Again, the CD is in nine languages. The book is in English and uh, Spanish. Uh, the book, CD, and DVD set it is not, you can't disrupt it by just one piece. You got to buy all three. And it's called The, the um, Truth About Nutrition. And it will freak you out what we know about nutrition and what it can do to add 25 to 50 healthy years to your life. Save you an enormous amount of unnecessary misery, save you an enormous amount of money. And let's just spend those 25 years and 50 years with the people you love. Over to you. I'm glad you mentioned that the, you know, the nutrition is the, uh, the 90 for life is the key to all this. And we're going to get into that more in a minute. But what I wanted to talk about today is longevity and, uh, just looking at an article online, it says the longest verified human lifespan is that of Jean Clermont of France, who lived 122 years and 164 days. She supposedly met Vincent van Gogh when she was 12 or 13 years old. She died in 1997. Uh, she received news media attention in 1985 after turning 110. Uh, subsequent investigations found documents of her age beyond any reasonable question, and the records uh, were found in her native city of Ayres, France. It says more evidence of her lifespan has been produced than any other supercentarian, such that her case serves as the archetype of the methodology to verify ages uh, of the oldest people. Uh, women tend to live longer than men. Uh, so women predominate the list when you get the list. Uh, the longest lifespan for a man, and I'm not going to say this wrong because it's he's from Japan, is Jiroman Kimura of Japan. He lived from, from 1897 to 2013. He was 116 years and 54 days when he died. Uh, and the oldest person in Japan is Kane Tanaka, lived 119 years born in 1903. So, you know, we're, we're seeing that there's a possibility to live that long. I mean, there's a lot of people in the nursing homes here today that, that uh, are living that age. Um, let's see, it's not just Japan, but we're also seeing uh, centurions in Venezuela. Uh, Vincent Perez is 112 years old. Uh, there's a Santi Mino, uh, I'm terrible at, the, at these languages, De La Fuente Garcia of Spain, 112 years old. That's just a few of the people. Uh, if you go down the top 10 list, number one is Japan. Number two, believe it or not, is the United States. Christian Mortensen, 115 years, 252 days. Died in 1998. Then there's Puerto Rico, and there's four more from the United States on the list. Uh, Japan, Spain, Israel, Germany. Do you have any information on the Hunzas? Of course, there's a movie and a book written about them, Lost Horizon by James Hilton, near the Gilgit Glacier between Pakistan and China. And um, they have outrageous numbers Okay, when it comes to longevity, and that's why James Hilton went there. He spent two years. He's a New York Times reporter, and there is this um, um, Dr. Lee. He's a, he is a, a Chinese medical doctor, and his claim was he was over 200 years of age, and he's going around treating people and everything. He's supposed to be over 200 years, and this uh, uh, James Hilton followed this Chinese doctor for over a year. And, you know, documented everything he did and didn't do and documented his birth date and everything and wrote the, the book uh, and, this, and uh, the movie uh, um, text or whatever you call it, score, um, um, Lost Horizon. And it was all because of this um, New York Times reporter, mm -hmm. James Hilton, was going to go discredit this Chinese doctor who was claiming to be over 200. Well, according to James Hilton, it was quite correct. 
And so uh, the Hunzas, um, they have a life expectancy uh, of over 100. Uh, our life expectancy is 75. And the oldest living Hunzas, and I'll get this, is, is that's what uh, uh, James Hilton figured that um, uh, Dr. Lee was. Uh, he was actually like 160 years old. So do we believe that? I don't know, but that's what James Hilton found. And so I just wanted to know, um, when, when you get all these numbers, it's, they're all industrialized nations. Okay. Yeah, but these cities that I mentioned, mm -hmm. they're all very, very remote areas. Mm -hmm. So they're not being influenced by the, the uh, industrial diets. And in fact, it goes into what the diets are here of these longest living people. Uh, let me scroll down here and find it again. Corn, nuts, olive oil, goat's milk, herbal teas, tofu, mastic oil, uh, pecorino, pecorino cheese, uh, sweet potatoes, and red wine. It doesn't mention uh, I, I, I didn't hear any gluten in there. Yeah, I agree. And these are very remote areas. Uh, other than Loma Linda, California, and that one was the Seventh Day Adventist. Yeah, yeah, they're they're obviously they, that's their priority is to live a long life, and they do everything. They they really do a good job. Uh, of course, everybody can always do something better. So we put all the things necessary to add twenty five to fifty healthy years to your life. And the set is the truth about nutrition. It's the book, the CD, and the DVD. And uh, they're available now as we speak. Again, if you buy 10 sets, you get a $10 discount on each set. So you'll save 100 bucks. You cannot buy the book by itself. You cannot buy the CD by itself. You cannot buy the DVD by itself. You've got to buy the whole set. Yeah, so these folks eat mostly vegetarian diets with some meat. Uh, they put family first. They celebrate their elders. Uh, they walk a lot, drink uh, a glass or two of red wine each day. And that's one of the things they have common. It mm -hmm. says, uh, according to research on Danish twins, genes only contribute 25% of your longevity. 75% of your longevity is based on your lifestyle, including food and physical activity. So let's, let's, let's talk about that. What exactly do we need to do? Well, let's back up one step. Why is it that we don't live that long? What's, what's the situation here in the United States uh, both diet wise and uh, agriculture wise. Okay. There's, okay. There's two pieces. Number one, uh, doctors told the American public to get rid of the animal fat out of their diet and eat grains. And a thousand companies came out and came out with all these things like breakfast of champions, Wheaties, uh, oatmeal, uh, and every kind of cereal you can think of gluten, 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 killed the intestines. Don't waste your money on supplements. You're just wasting your money on supplements because eat well, you get everything you need. Four food groups and a seven food group pyramid. They came up with those to try and combat the concept of um, supplementing. Okay, don't waste your money on supplementation. Just eat the four food groups and a seven food group pyramid and exercise and everything will be good. Well, uh, that's why we live to be 75 because nutritional minerals, Pharmacist Keith, they do not occur in a uniform blank around the crust of the earth. They're like gold and silver. They occur in veins like gold and silver. And some places you can eat, just eat well and get some same, you might get 28 or 30 minerals. Other places eat the same exact recipe. They'll die 25 years earlier because they only have three of those minerals in the soil where their food is grown. For the ones who live to be 110, they have 28 to 40 of those minerals in the soil. Okay. And it's just sort of dumb luck. So the only way you can get around the dumb luck piece is to proactively consciously supplement with everything. And it's just like um, right now, doctors are telling you what to do for yourself as if a mechanic would say to you, don't waste your money on gasoline and oil. Just put dirt from Saudi Arabia in your car and there's a gas tank and put dirt from Saudi Arabia in your oil pan there's bound to be some oil and gasoline in there. That's dirt from Saudi Arabia. Now, an idiot wouldn't do that to their car. But when you listen to your doctor, well, my doctor says, like their doctor's, you know, second to God or maybe before God. My doctor says I can just get the four food groups and seven food group pyramid. I get everything I need. 
well, how come the average lifestyle style of one class of do medical doctors is 57? The other um, class of doctors is 71. They don't live as long as the average dude out in the street. Oh, they work so hard day and night to save people. That's why they stress. No, it's because they're not supplementing. They supplement with Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> they supplement with um, Spaghetti Factory. They supplement with um, beer. And they drink beer that's made from wheat, brown, and oats instead of beer that's made from rice. And so they're paying the price big time. And they're, just, they're still telling people, you know, eat more grain, eat more grain. Well, that's fine as long as you're eat, eating like an Asian. Eat rice and sweet potatoes and beans and squash. Eat more corn. You can't have fried corn. You can have boiled corn, steamed corn, roasted corn. But you cannot have fried corn. You cannot have fried potatoes. You can have boiled potatoes, steamed potatoes. But you cannot have fried potatoes because frying turns the uh, oils in them uh, into trans fats, heterocycamines, or acrylamides, which, which are cancer causing and inflammatory uh, substances. Your arteries get plugged, not because of cholesterol, but because of inflammation. And so when they came out with statin drugs to lower your cholesterol, they created so many new diseases like Alzheimer's disease. Now there, there were dementias before statin drugs, but Alzheimer's disease is a very specific disease and it did not appear until 1960, some years after they came out with statin drugs, no cholesterol. Your brain is 75% cholesterol. And of course, now we have ED every place and of course, menopausal problems. Estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone are 95% by weight cholesterol. You got to eat three, I eat three eggs twice a day with soft yolks, soft boiled, soft scrambled in butter. Uh, this morning I had three soft scrambled eggs and butter. I had uh, uh, two big scoops, I mean big scoops, you know, like probably a total of a pint of uh, wild rice steamed. And then I had um, a filet of, uh, what do you call it? Uh, not salmon, oh, tuna, filet of tuna, uh, steamed in water, not in oil or anything like that. They come in big, like one foot long, four inch diameter canisters and you just slice off the filets. And then I had two of the four ounce cups of the gluten-free and sugar-free yogurt. And I had all my supplements, my drinks um, for all, all my 90 essential nutrients. Actually, I had 215 nutrients today, the base of which were the 90. And I uh, took my colloidal silver, used my hand sanitizer. And this is what you gotta do to, to gain those 25 to 50 extra years. If you're prepared, remember 75 is just an average. That means there's a lot of people dying in their 50s and 60s to bring down the average from people who live to be, say, 85. I uh, just posted on both Facebook and the Zoom a link to a video we did a few months ago that YouTube deleted and gave me a strike uh, called Serial Killers, You Are What You Absorb. Uh, apparently, YouTube thought that was medical misinformation because that's what they told me is the reason why they deleted it. But I just uh, posted a link at both locations so you folks can go uh, take a look at that. Uh, but uh, well, how come how come my book saying that is in the Smithsonian Institute as a national treasure? So what you need to do uh, is remind them about that. Challenged it and they ignored me. So that's the way YouTube is. But anyhow. I've got someplace else that I could put it and they won't delete it there. So I've got it out there now. Yeah, you're talking about the good foods. You're talking about the bad foods you need to avoid. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we've got a video called uh, foodvideo.campaignfornutrition.com. And that's also a previous Zoom that we did where we talk about the good foods and the bad foods. So we eliminate all the good food, all the bad foods out of our diet. And now we start taking the good foods. Is that good enough, Dr. Wallet? No, because still nutritional minerals do not occur in a uniform black around the crust of the earth. And plants do not manufacture minerals. Plants manufacture vitamins and proteins and amino acids and carbohydrates and, and oils. But plants cannot manufacture minerals. So we're dependent on what's in the soil and supplementation. 
And if you're dependent only on what's in the soil, you are going to lose big time. Well, what about organic? I, I buy organic. Isn't that good enough? No. Organic just means less uh, exposure to chemical sprays like insecticides and fertilizers and that kind of stuff. So if you want um, uh, organic eggs, organic chicken, organic beef, you want the range fed where they just run around out on orchard grass pasture and uh, they give them salt blocks and some trace minerals in a bucket and they eat the minerals and eat the grass. And um, so you can get, um, uh, you, you can get uh, range fed milk, okay? You can get range fed cheese, you can get range fed meat, you can get range fed eggs, you get range fed chickens. And so uh, I try to stay away from all those sprays and chemicals as much as I can. When you travel a lot, it's hard to get all that when you're on the road, but at home, mm -hmm. you can cover as much as you can. But you do have to supplement, even if you're eating well, because nutritional minerals do not occur in a uniform blank around the crust of the earth. And the only way you're going to guarantee you're going to get all 60 minerals is to consciously, proactively supplement. Yeah, I want folks to understand uh, all these range fed animals, you know, they're, they're free of the toxic chemicals, yes, but they're only getting whatever happens to be in that grass plant that they're eating or the alfalfa that they're eating or, or whatever the plant is that they're eating. They're, you know, the clover, whatever it is, they're only going to get the minerals that those plants have sucked up out of the soil. And if it's not in the soil, it's not in the plants. If it's and not the plants in the plants, don't, the plants it's don't not need in the them animals that you eat. Plants don't need them and the plants can't make them. Exactly. And we've known that now since 1936, I think it is. 1936, U.S. Senate document 264, U.S. government, U.S. Senate came out and said that the American soils no longer have the nutrition necessary for um, optimal health and long life. U.S. Senate document right. 264, 1936. And you can see that Senate document by visiting... Uh, campaignfornutrition.com uh, that senate document is on there and i have a link but i don't have it in front of me so i'll put the link in the facebook here in a minute but uh, so what can we do well you have to consciously supplement and this is why we came up with the programs we did and in the beginning i just you know did the bare minimum we came up with what we called the 90 to 90 for life that was our theme the 90 for life 60 minerals 16 vitamins 12 minutes and three fat acids and even if you could only afford one meal a day, it was better to take the 90 essential nutrients in one meal a day than it was to have three meals a day and do it badly. And uh, then when the pandemic came out, we ramped it up to 215 nutrients. The core is still the 90, but now we have the 215 nutrients is called the healthy brain and heart pack. And so, uh, and people, they do that when they, when they call me on the radio, I'm sure they do you too when they call you on the radio or text you or whatever. They say, yeah, I have arthritis, okay. Um, you take a medication for that. Yeah, I got a painkiller, but it's getting worse and I'm starting to you know, not be able to walk real well. So I'm using a walker, I don't like that. Okay, uh, do you have any other issues? Yeah, I got high blood pressure, but I got it under control with medication. Oh, uh, what about diabetes? Yeah, I got diabetes, but I got it under control with medication. Oh, uh, I have asthma, but I got it under control with medication. Those are all the wrong answers, <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. But that's so I, that's why I, I had to invent a way to ask people questions because do you have diabetes or have a pressure? Well, yeah, but they're in center control because it's only controlling the symptoms, not the potentially life threatening issues going on associated with those diseases. Absolutely. And that document can be found at Senate document dot campaign for nutrition dot com. OK, Dr. Wallach, so we need to take the. 90 essential nutrients. Uh, what, what are those 90 essential nutrients? Yes. 60, six zero minerals, 16 vitamins, 12 amino acids, three fatty acids. And again, it's in our healthy start pack. That was our basic start was the healthy start pack. And uh, then we had secret sauces for specific disease. We had uh, sweeties for people who had diabetes. So they would get the healthy start pack and the sweeties. If they had arthritis, we'd give them uh, the sweeties plus uh, glucogel and vitamin D3. And then this, the, all these various pandemics were flying around. So we came up with 
um, the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, which has 215 nutrients, the core is still the 90, but we have 215 other nutrients added to it that haven't been declared yet as essential, but they are essential. <laughs> You're going to get sick or die or both if you don't have them. And so um, uh, it's one of those things where if you take your 215 nutrients, take your Healthy Brain and Heart Pack, you take the secret sauces appropriate for whatever health challenge you have, and people say, okay, now what happens when my diabetes goes away? Okay, well, you have to stay on the diet, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no gluten, no wheat, rhinos, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. And uh, the whole purpose here is to avoid all the inflammation uh, that contributes to plaque in your arteries, not cholesterol, but inflammation, causing plaque in the arteries, uh, causes irritable bowel syndrome, causes all kinds of stuff, uh, causes, uh, again, skin problems, um, including psoriasis and plaque psoriasis and so on, asthma, heart disease, osteoporosis. But then you also have to appreciate that you really, really, really want to do more than the, the bare minimum. And so you want to have a little kind of savings account in your body with these extra nutrients. And so that's why we came out with the bigger, heavier hammers mm -hmm. um, because people would skip the 90 and just take the healthy blood sugar pack or just take the sweeties, just take the sweeties. And that's why we came out with a healthy blood sugar pack, which is the 90 with the sweeties added to it. And you just check your fasting blood sugar every morning. As your blood sugar begins to drop, you can slowly reduce your medication based on the numbers. Don't hold turkey off of the medication, but usually within two to six weeks, you'll be off the medication. Same way with, with um, people who are on dialysis. I, I've got people who are on dialysis six days a week. They haven't urinated in 10 years and they're on dialysis six days a week and two weeks on my program, um, they're urinating. And so they drop the dialysis down to three days a week and in two more weeks they're off of dialysis after 25 years of being on dialysis because they didn't want to get a kidney transplant, mm -hmm. okay? And so this is all documented and that's why we came out with the book and the CD and the DVD set. And this is again, Jimmy Osmond from the Osmond family came up with the concept. Okay, well, look, it's been 20, three years now since dead doctors don't lie it's time for an update and all the new information okay jimmy you got it and so he and i spent a lot of time uh actually a couple of years working on this and so i, I cannot thank jimmy osmond enough uh for you know just saying it's okay wallach get your butt to work here it's time it's time to move on because you have all this data now from 20 plus years let's get it out there yeah and you can find that at drjwallach.com, drjwallach.com. I wanted to share this with you because, you know, we talk about the 90 for life and it, this illustrates it very well. Uh, think of the 90 for life as the center of the sunflower there. Uh, that's all the nutrients that you need to live a long, healthy life. Uh, the stem of the flower is those uh, 60 minerals. You know, they, they come from the earth and that's why we represent it with the stem there. And the petals are the disease, different diseases, different medical conditions that you have and the products that are designed to help with those conditions as well. So I want you to just think about it that way. Uh, the 90 essential nutrients is what's, uh, the, it's what's uh, the necessary for everybody, for every living mammal out there. Uh, needs Correct. that 90 essential nutrients, whether it's your puppy or cat or, or yourself or your kid. Uh, this product right here, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, this is what got me as a pharmacist to really get active with this company. I've been using the products from the company for years, but when they came out with this Tangy Tangerine, uh, that was the, the wow product, the go-to product. Uh, it's got all the 90 essential nutrients plus other nutrients from plants. Plus 215 um, additional nutrients, 215 right. plus the 90. Right. So it's got all the different things, phytochemicals from the different plants. It's got, uh, uh, you know, probiotics. It's, it's got everything that you need right here in this canister, except for the omega-3s. And that's because you can't um, take an oil and freeze dry it and turn it into a powder. It just doesn't work. So all the other nutrients were made in liquid form which is very highly absorbable. Uh, I'll let Dr. White talk about the absorption in just a mo moment, but because it's in a liquid form, it's highly absorbable and gets used by your body. And then they fr freeze dried it 
and turned it into these crystals uh, that when you mix it with water, it mixes up real easily back into liquid form. So you can take it and take advantage of the absorption, but in the crystal form, it increases its shelf life. Uh, I would encourage folks right now that are preparing for bad events to come. <laughs> I'm trying to say, I, I say apolitical here, <laughs> but folks that are uh, preparing and, and stockpiling food and all, you need to stockpile this as well. The, these micro crystals, if, if nothing else, stockpile this because you're going to get the majority of what you need uh, from these products right here. Uh, I know storing omega-3s long term is a problem because they are oil, but at least you'll get 89 of the 90 essential nutrients by stockpiling that particular product. Talk about absorption, Dr. Wallach, and then we got some questions to get to. Okay. Um, yeah, you are not, you know, that there's an old adage, you are what you eat. Now that was true before electricity came along. But since electricity came along, that's not true anymore. You're not what you eat, you are what you absorb. Because when you're eating gluten, you're eating more whole grains, you're eating gluten, you can't absorb, you lose about 90% of your absorptive surface in your intestine. Your intestine should look like a shag rug when you open them up. Uh, instead, your intestines will look like a, a plastic tube. You've lost 90% of the absorptive surface when you eat gluten. Doesn't take long, a couple of months, and you're in trouble. And so it's, it's imperative uh, that you understand you have to stay away from the bad stuff. That's equally important as taking all the good stuff. And you have to make sure that you're going to absorb as well as putting in your mouth not quite good enough. You, you got to be able to absorb it. And um, this comes down to getting rid of the bad stuff. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no butter, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. Even the diet drinks got to go because the carbonation of the diet drinks neutralize stomach acid and you cannot absorb uh, mineral nutrients and you cannot digest food without stomach acid. The stomach was given a, a series of cells called chief cells, which make hydrochloric acid from sodium chloride salt. Any doctor who says, look, you, you know, you're getting up there, you're 65 years old, stop using salt because it causes high blood pressure. That doctor should have his license taken away and he should be put in jail. Okay. Salt is required by every cell in your body and uh, particularly by your digestive tract. And, um, but then when, if you follow the doctor's instructions, within a couple of months, you'll be going to the doctor's office once a month for an iron shot because you can't absorb iron. And so you're anemic and you're bleeding under your skin. And uh, so he's going to give you an iron shot once a month to bypass that intestine. Uh, wouldn't you rather just, <laughs> wouldn't you rather just avoid gluten yeah. and not have to get a shot every month of iron? because you're not absorbing other things when you have these absorption problems. So the iron thing is just a sort of like a, um, a little beacon warning light on your dashboard. All right, so first question, ask about colloidal silver. Can you drop it in an adult's ear for an ear infection? Absolutely. You can also use it in your child. I've used it on a dog. So yes, it is perfectly safe to put it in the ear. That's correct. All right. I have a health evaluation that came in. Uh, this person scored a negative eight on their health evaluation. It looks like they have heart tissue issues, uh, blood sugar issues, uh, and soft tissue issues. The uh, only thing that they didn't score bad on was digestion. Uh, age 35, 116 pounds, five foot two female, exercises regularly. Uh, has trouble staying focused. That's the soft tissue issue. Mm -hmm. uh, feels exhausted most of the time. No thyroid issues. Has her gallbladder still. Uh, does have pets. Uh, has irregular cycles. Had problems conceiving children in the past and has had miscarriages in the past. So. Okay. Well, exercise without supplementation is suicide. Exercise without supplementation for a woman who's going to have kids is going to foster birth defects in the babies. Okay. Without supplementing. Well, yeah. Well, that's another, that's another one. Exercise without supplementation is suicide. Dead athletes don't lie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like dead doctors don't lie. Same principle. Because everybody says, well, yeah, I so exercise. I don't need to supplement. I exercise. Well, that's not good enough. 
Okay, exercise is well, one part of it, but this uh, definitely exercising drains you of nutrition. So you have to right. supplement a little bit extra if you're going to be exercising. So and, good food, bad food, need to follow mm -hmm. that. Uh, because all these different categories are showing deficiencies. My guess is gluten problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we need to look at that serial killers uh, link that I put up there. And because well, I mean, we're looking at every category, then that's going to be the healthy uh, brain and heart pack, brain and heart pack. Right. Yep. And um, she weighed what? 170 pounds. You said something 100, like that? 119, I think. 119 okay 119 so pounds so thin lady okay so get rid of all the bad stuff uh, no fried foods no processed meats no oils no glutens no wheat no butter rhinos no sugar no carbonated drinks even the diet one's got to go and then i'd have her take one healthy brain and heart pack per month take a half a dose of everything twice a day except for the selenium she needs another bottle of arsenium with the five cofactors not from all grains but arsenium five cofactors right. take three twice a day then uh, she also needs uh, the MSM, take three of those twice a day. That's um, one bottle a month. That'll support and promote maintenance, repair, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, including the walls of arteries, veins, skin, uh, walls of the intestines, and so on. Um, then uh, needs the um, peptides. collagen peptides. A scoop of that with a breakfast drink, scoop of that with an evening drink. Again, it'll do the same thing. Plus, it works on the bone marrow, which is where your immune system is. It makes red blood cells, platelets, um, also makes white blood cells and antibodies from the stem cells. Very, very important. Most people who never see their bone marrow. They hear about it, but they don't realize how important it is. And then uh, they also need the vitamin D3, three of those twice a day. I don't care if you live in sunshine or not. Um, most people, most adults who live in sunshine areas, when they sit outside watching their kids play without their shirts, uh, they're sitting in the shade, avo avoiding the sun. And so they need the vitamin D3 so they can absorb the minerals and put them in the right place. And then um, also we have, again, secret sauces for diabetes and high blood pressure. Uh, diabetes uh, is a sweeties and the, okay. okay. Um, so she, I, she mentioned she has an irregular cycle. What would be the secret sauce there? Okay. Well, the secret sauce for, for cycle problems in women is three eggs twice a day. And also uh, the, um, let's see here, uh, Xerofem. She could take three of those twice a day. It's two bottles a month of the Xerofem, three at breakfast, three at dinner time, three soft boiled eggs with soft yolks and butter at breakfast and three at dinner time. And because she needs the cholesterol to make estrogen. Right. Okay. And so, because estrogen is 95% by weight, duh, cholesterol. And if okay. she's also, on a statin drug, she needs to be considering getting off the statin drug. That's, that's correct. And also it'll help rebuild her brain because the brain is 75% by weight cholesterol. Okay. okay. Well, I think that covered that pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next health evaluation that we got in is uh, a female. She didn't too bad. She has scored a 62 out of 100. So that's not too bad. It looks like her major areas of problem are uh, looks like soft tissue issues. Uh, she's 59, 154 pounds, five foot six, uh, has thyroid issues, still has her gallbladder, uh, does have night sweats and flash, hot flashes, and she wants to lose weight and enjoy life by walking. Okay. Yeah, five, six for a lady. She could weigh 140, so she's not too much overweight. She may be 14, right. 15 pounds, 20 pounds overweight, depending on her structure. So she's not too bad. And she said she had a thyroid issue. That's thyroid issues. Didn't specify okay. what it is, but. Okay. All right. So she needs to get rid of all the bad foods, no fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, no butter, no no sugar, no carbonated drinks. The diet one's got to go. And she also has to stay away from cruciferous vegetables which interfere with thyroid function. No and cabbage, broccoli. vegetables are? A cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. Got to stay away from them. Okay. Uh, she can eat onions. She can eat carrots. She can have broccoli, all that kind of stuff. Cauliflower. Okay. And um, no, then, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, no cauliflower, but broccoli is okay. Then uh, she needs to, um, let's see here. 
Uh, I would just do that. Stay away from the bad food. She's going to she's going to lose the weight. Then she needs 154 pounds. I want her to have two healthy brain and heart packs per month. The full dose everything twice a day. Um, just because of her age, I want her to have uh, one bottle a month of our MSM. So you can take three of those twice a day. That'll support and promote maintenance repair, cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between the vertebrae, bone rings, bone itself, arteries, walls, and vein walls. Then I also want her to supplement uh, with the uh, Ocean's Gold. Take three of those twice a day. That's two bottles a month. That's the eight or nine different allergies from one ocean. She can also take the Fucoid Z, take three of those twice a day. That's two bottles a month. That's eight or nine different allergies from the other ocean. So they're, they, we use the same technique to make the products, but they're a little bit different in analyses because of the difference in the mineral content of the different oceans. So I, I hedge my bet. I take three of each uh, twice a day. Okay. And the hot flashes, I wanted to take two bottles a month of our uh, Zerafem, take three at breakfast, three at dinner time. Don't forget the three eggs twice a day with the uh, soft yolks. And uh, then, uh, you know, give us a call every couple of weeks. Anytime she goes to the doctor and let us know what's going on. She'll have a great story. Now, an alternative to Zerafem would be the women's FX liquid. That's correct. Oh, that's a good alternative. Okay. And yeah, we have 5,000 products. So there's bound to be one people exactly. find useful. <laughs> yeah. And if one's too expensive, I'm sure there's another one. And that's where you get with your longevity associate. They can help you find one that fits within your budget. All right. Next is a male scored a negative 77 on the health quiz. Oh my. Hard tissue problems, soft tissue problems, blood sugar was way up and digestion was way up. So those were the two primary problems. He's 65 years old, 235 pounds, five foot 11. So he needs to lose about 70 pounds. Uh, says, do you have MD diagnosed surgeries or additional health information? Yes, but I don't see it on here. Uh, wants to lose weight, does exercise regularly, uh, wants to strengthen the immune system, does feel exhausted most of the time, still has his gallbladder, no thyroid issues, has cats and dogs or cats or dogs, Concerned about prostate, concerned about libido, uh, mood swings and irritability, has trouble sleeping at night. Uh, his main goal is he wants to be able to stay healthy and active and lose weight. Okay. Yeah, it, uh, let's see here. Five foot 11, should weigh about 180 pounds, so he needs to lose about 50, 60 pounds. One meal a day, and it's a meal replacer, not to add to a meal, is the keto shake and a couple um, uh, doses of our rebound or sports drink okay uh, we have it in powder and a canister we have it in individual little sticks individual servings 30 servings in a box we also have it in cans it's called a rebound um, that's for the energy piece uh, also um, but take a two or three two or three of those a day along with um, one meal replacer it's a meal replacer not to add to a meal the keto shake okay and then um, MSM, I want him to have two bottles a month of our MSM. So he can take three at breakfast, three at lunch, three at dinner time. That's going to deal with all the hard tissue stuff, the joints and bones and discs between the vertebrae and cartilage and so on. It'll rebuild all that. And then uh, diabetes it needs, again, um, the sweeties, throw that in there. Uh, get two bottles of that a month so he can take three twice a day. And don't cold turkey off his diabetes medication. But as <clears throat> the blood sugar begins to drop, he can slowly reduce the medication based on the numbers. And usually within two to six weeks, he'll, he won't be a diabetic anymore. Uh, it, I always say when it comes to the joints, uh, give me 90 days. But again, it's imperative that he stays away from the bad stuff to maximize absorption. So he gets results as quickly as possible and you know saves as much money as possible. And then it's one of those things where the question always comes up, pharmacists keep, well, how long do I have to stay on this diet? Well, if you want to add 25 to 50 healthy years to your diet, you got to stay on this diet forever. How long do I have to stay on all these supplements? Well, I'm 83 years old. I've been supplementing with these 90 essential nutrients for, um, in June, it'll be 75 years, okay? And so it's one of those things where uh, it's just um, a way of life. I've been doing it for 75 years. I don't pay attention to it. I just do it. And um, it's given me a beautiful life. I don't have any health challenges, soft tissue or heart tissue. I have nothing going on. I had an injury once other than that injury, but I don't have any diabetes or high blood pressure or heart problems. I don't have any brain issues. I don't have any um, 
uh, lung issues. I don't have any liver issues. I have no kidney issues, no dialysis, nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. You take digestive okay. enzymes? I do take the ultimate enzymes. Yes, I do. I take uh, two of those um, uh, twice a day. Uh, I don't eat lunch most of the time. And so I take two twice a day, about two, oh, five, 10 minutes for each meal. And so the, I call it the gallbladder in a bottle because it does have bile in it, which we get from um, cattle that are slaughtered in the slaughterhouse. We take their gallbladders and take the bile out and, and dry it and put the powder in our digestive enzymes because bile in your gallbladder have a purpose. They help you absorb fat soluble vitamins. They help you absorb good fats. They help you absorb the good oils and things that are in the beans and things like that. Without bile, you couldn't absorb all those things. So that's what we call our ultimate enzymes, uh, the gallbladder in a bottle. Okay. Got a lot of questions about dogs. Um, one person asking about raw diet. Uh, I can answer that one. Uh, my son has a collie has been on a raw meat diet uh, for as long as he's owned him now. He basically feeds him chicken thighs and chicken backs raw. Also gives him eggs. He has his own chickens, so he provides the eggs for the dog as well. Uh, in addition to the uh, uh, arthrodex. Arth yeah. Okay. Yeah, ar uh, well, arthrodex is one scoop per 20 pounds of body weight for the animal. Right. Another question about a pup, a uh, 13 year old male dog, 70 pounds. Looks like they're doing a really good job of everything that you would recommend, Dr. Wallach. Uh, has weakened, painful hips, Arthrodex, MSM, D3, EFA. Can you give the dog the collagen peptides? Absolutely. Okay. So Absolutely. that's probably what you need to add to this particular dog's regimen then is the collagen peptides. Mm -hmm. And if, read, if you're feeding him dog food, read the label, make sure there's no gluten in it because yeah. a lot of, a lot of uh, pet foods, they put gluten in there. So you need to read the label, make sure it's uh, gluten-free. Yeah. Read the label, make sure it's gluten-free and make sure meat is at least the first two ingredients in the label as well. Because mm -hmm. a lot of time it'll be corn. And what do we feed a cow to get it fat so we can get it to the slaughterhouse quickly? We feed them corn. corn. <laughs> so, so you don't want to do that with your pet. You want to make sure your, your pet's getting a good source of protein from meat, uh, whether they're on the raw diet or not. And I was concerned about the raw diet in the beginning because you always hear these stories that the raw food, raw meat causes a dog to be uh, mean. And I've not found that at all. This dog is the gentlest dog in the world smart as attack, hyper as can be, a uh, well-fed dog. Yeah, as long as they're getting all the other nutrients. Right. If he's missing any nutrients, he might eat you. But you have to make sure he's getting all the nutrients, and that's what the arthrodex, and don't forget the EFAs, arthrodex and EFAs. And, uh, you know, right. a dog, I'd give a couple of the EFA pluses and a couple of the EFAs, and that'll, that'll cover them. Okay, and Gene, you asked about good blood pressure range. You can Google that. Uh, 120 over 80 is considered normal. A lot of doctors now are shooting for 110 over 80, but uh, you can look that up on Google, what the uh, good blood pressure range is. Uh, and one other person asked about, uh, they want to reduce oxidation from oils, so they want to know if it's okay to take flaxseed and grind it and put it in with your tangy tangerine drink my wife grinds flaxseed and she puts it in uh, food all the time mm -hmm. and that does eliminate the oxidation because you're grinding it right before you're using it okay there you go good answer and of course um if you're going to exercise don't forget oxybody too uh, take that uh, and don't forget the rebound oxybody and rebound go great uh, for you know take it say 10, 15 minutes or a half hour before you're going to exercise, you'll notice a huge positive difference. And you got, you got, you're out of time. Yeah. I got time for one okay. more question if you have it. Okay. Stroke, uh, prevent stroke. Okay. Well, stroke can be caused by many things, but oftentimes a blood clot, which is a uh, nutritional deficiency. It can be caused by a ruptured aneurysm in, in the brain, which is caused by nutritional deficiency. So it comes down to the same basic story, pharmacist Keith. No fried foods, no processed meats, no oils, no glutens, no wheat, butter, rye, oats, no sugar, no carbonated drinks. You know, the diet one's got to go. And then at a minimum, the 90 essential nutrients, the healthy start pack, one per 100 pounds of body weight. And then we have all these secret sauces that go along with whatever 
specific health challenges you may or may not have. And um, you don't have to stay on those secret sauces forever because when the disease goes away, if you stay on the 90 and you're staying away from gluten so you maximize absorption, that should be enough to maintain you, okay? Mm -hmm. But if you're doing all the bad stuff, you, you, you're not going to maintain uh, because, you know, within three to six months, you'll be back down in the hole again. And the trouble with that is the second time you get down in that hole, you may die down in there and you, you know, you won't have a chance to come out again. Okay. Uh, see them cap safer dogs. Of course. Okay. I just know some things aren't safe for dogs. I just want to make sure. CM caps might also be an option for that dog with the hip pain. Okay. Thank you very much, Dr. Wallach. I know you've well, got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Pharmacist Keith. A super uh, job as usual. Just don't forget the truth about nutrition, the set of the book, the CD, the DVD, uh, Jimmy Osmond and me. Um, it'll blow your mind. And um, www.drjwallach.com. Let's get the information yep. out there. Let's save America. I'll share all that, including your radio program. So I'll let you Thank know. you, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, folks. Dr. Wallach is on the radio twice a week. I'm sorry, twice a day. Two different shows. First show is called Dead Doctors Don't Lie Radio. That's on weekdays from 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call this uh, program to get your questions answered. Please call about 10, 15 minutes early or you won't get in. Uh, the number is 888 379-2552. That's 888-379-2552. Uh, also, you can get the archives at radio.givedoc90days.com. That's 90 with a nine zero. Radio.givedoc90days.com. The second show is called Let's Play Doctor, and that's on Monday through Friday from 4 to 5 p.m. Eastern, and the call-in number there is 877-912-7529. Uh, this particular program today uh, had a lot of good information in it, so I encourage you to share the Facebook link. Uh, give, let's see, it's uh, facebook.com slash give doc 90 days, and 90 is spelled out on that one. So facebook.com slash give doc 90 days. Uh, share this episode. There's a lot of good information there. Be sure to get your books and CDs by visiting Dr. Wyke's website drjwallach.com that's drjwallach.com folks some of his books are found on amazon but i encourage you to go buy them directly from dr wallach uh, his income is totally based on the sale of the books and cds uh, yes he gets the commission off the cds and books that are on amazon but amazon gets a part of it too if you go to his website 100% uh, of the proceeds from the sale of those books goes to dr wallach uh, same price either place, uh, drjwallach.com. And there's a lot more to choose from on that website too. And there's also discounts uh, for volume. Uh, we have two free gifts to, for you for participating. Uh, you go to dddlvideo.com. That stands for Dead Doctors Don't Lie. It's dddlvideo.com. You can uh, access a video there called Dead Doctors Don't Lie. Someone should go to jail. Health, lies, and medicine. Uh, that's a link that you can share with other people as well. Uh, when you visit that website, there, we don't collect any information from you. Uh, we don't ask for your email. We don't ask for your phone number. You're not going to get a bunch of text message uh, and spam or, or email spam. Uh, the, the information is available there, absolutely free of charge for you to share. There's also a report on why so many young athletes die that Dr. Raleigh wrote many years ago. Uh, that particular one, you can download it to your computer. You can add your contact information to it, print it out, and share it with your family and friends. Again, absolutely free. Uh, no obligation there. We don't collect any of your information. So I encourage you to uh, uh, go over there and do that. Uh, you can uh, also visit my website, askpharmacistkeith.com, askpharmacistkeith.com. If you go over to the uh, search bar there, you can search all kinds of topics. We've got information about gluten, got information about uh, excitotoxins, uh, uh, Ilm, uh, ILMSG. Uh, the Senate document can be found there. It's all on the askpharmacistkeith.com website. A little bit behind to getting these videos up, but they're going to be coming up there too soon. 
Uh, so I appreciate that. And if you have any questions, email me, askpharmacistkeith at live.com, askpharmacistkeith at live.com. Folks, I appreciate it very much. Uh, I'm going to email this particular video link to the three people that I did the health evaluation uh, reviews on so they can uh, uh, hear what Dr. Wyck had to say. And I encourage you to do the same thing. If you find people that uh, you know that have a condition we talk about, have a, a, something they're concerned about that we talk about on one of these programs, share the video with them, okay? It's uh, absolutely free for you to do it. Uh, you know, I, I do, you know, I, I give you this information for free to use, to share. Uh, the, the link on that DDDL video website, that information is there for you to use and share. I'll ask one thing of you. This information is copyrighted. Do not take my work that I've done, my videos, my CDs, my uh, you know, news articles, don't take those and claim them as your own. Don't take them and edit them and put your information in there. I will go after anybody that violates my copyright. I've had it done before and it's not cool. I spend a lot of money on the equipment in this room, uh, a lot of money on the, uh, you know, video editing equipment. And that's all I ask of you. You're free to share it. I don't care if you share it with other people, just don't take it, edit it and create it as your own because it's not yours. And I hold the copyright on that and I will go after people that do it. So stay in integrity, people. If you're, if you stay in integrity, it's going to come back to you. Okay. If you act out of integrity, that's going to come back to you as well. So thanks again for tuning in. We'll be back again next Monday, same time, 11 a.m. Eastern time, uh, zoom.campaignfornutrition.com at zoom.campaignfornutrition.com or facebook.com slash give doc 90 days. And that's 90 spelled out. I'll see you guys again on the next show. Thanks for tuning in to the Health and Wellness Hour with Dr. Joel Wallach and Pharmacist Keith Abel. If you found value in this episode, be sure to like and share. Also, to be notified when the next episode is posted, click on the subscribe button, then hit that little bell symbol. If you have any questions or comments for Pharmacist Keith or Dr. Wallach, you may send a private email to askpharmacistkeith at live.com or by visiting the Facebook page, Give Doc 90 Days to Better Health, Wellness, and Longevity. To hear more from Dr. Wallach, he has two nationally syndicated radio programs daily, Dead Doctors Don't Lie and Let's Play Doctor. Check your local radio listings for details. Also, check out the archives of his past shows at radio.givedoc90days.com. One last thing, if you'd like to join Dr. Wallach's crusade to share his message with others, contact Pharmacist Keith, and he'll teach you how to share the message and create some extra income at the same time. Contact Pharmacist Keith through his email address, Keith at prosperityrx.com or call or text at 502-212-2929. Remember, Keith is still a practicing pharmacist and can't always pick up the phone right away. So leave your name, number, and best time to call and he'll return your call as soon as possible. Thanks again for tuning in.